Fat Francis. I was getting counselling, but I stopped it. I didn't need it. I'm fine. She was really good, but I felt sorry for her. She believed in forming a bond through empathy. I believe empathy is a two-way channel. So I would tell her about what it's like to find out all your family and your friends and everyone you know has been incinerated in a nuclear attack. And she would tell me about missing out on sports day because her mum didn't believe in competition sports. Embarrassing. So I stopped it. Spare us both. Francis is good. He's dating Sarah. I don't think he wanted to fuck me. I think he was just being polite. I think I scared the shit out of him actually. He looked terrified. I never really liked him that much. It just became this thing, you know. I mean, you kept fucking bringing it up, so. I had a hard time adjusting the first month or so, but I'm fine now. I thought I'll go in and I'll ask him to kill himself. Last night, with this cat on my lap, I thought I'll go in there and I'll ask him to kill himself. That is what I will do. So this morning I called my solicitor to tell her I was going in after all. And I called the prison service. They're actually really good. I expected it would take weeks to get an appointment but they arranged something for today which is quick isn't it I thought I will go in and I will ask him to kill himself and he'll do it he'll do it because he was going to kill us both anyway regardless of what his solicitor says I know I know I've been thinking a lot about what makes people do things, pa sort of trapped in patterns of behaviour, in cycles of violence or something. And is it possible to break these cycles? Is it possible to break? And I'd be sitting there thinking this and this cat would come to the door because the back door's open because the garden just looks and she looks terrified and it looks beautiful, it really does. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, reactions and patterns and violence, breeding violence. And I'm looking at her tail and I'm thinking, that's been cut off. But I don't think it has. I think she's a Manx and they're just born without tails. Anyway, it takes her three whole nights to get onto my lap. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking warm and delicate. I'm stroking her. And I put my hand around her neck. And I squeeze and I squeeze until her neck's like the thickness of a rope. And still get my squeeze. So I'm sat there with this, this is last night, with this dead cat on my lap and I thought I'd come and see you. So here I am. 